Okay, Shalom Aleichem, good morning. We're doing the Laws of Prayer. Chapter 90 in the Shulchan Aruch. It says, Yashkim Adam lebet Knesset Kedesh Yimna Min Asar Shonim. It's a mitzvah to come early to the shul. Not like those that, God forbid, are always late. If you have a flight to make, would you miss it? So, it's a big mitzvah to be from the ten. The first, Ten people. Even if a hundred people come after you, you get uh, rewarded. And by the way, there's a very important uh, fringe benefit for this. You know what the benefit is, Natano? Mm. If you're always the first ten in the Bet Knesset, you get a long life. Because Rabbi Yochanan was mystified. He said, how could there be old people in Babel, in Babylonia? But the Torah says... In Shema we read what? Leman yirbu yemechem yemechem nechem ala adama she nishba Adonai lavotechem natat naim kimei Hashemayim ha'aretz. Where do you get a long life? In Shema it says, on the land of Israel. But then later he saw that what? These people they're so enthusiastic, right? <clears throat> that they're always the first ten. And Baruch Hashem, the Gra and the Maharal they explain because when you come to the shul it's like the embassy of Israel. You understand? And just like when you go to embassy, you you have you get immune from the country that you are. So when you come to the shul, it's like you're in the land of Israel in a way. It's like an embassy. That's why it's true. You get a long life. Now the Beni, Baruch Hashem, we Persian Jews. Um, I know there's somebody in our shul, Mr. Bashi. I'm not going to say his last name. We don't want to give him chas v'shalom ainara. But he's 105 years old, and I know throughout his life. He always was one of the first people to be in the shul. So it's not just some, uh, it really works when you're part of the first ten people. And just to elaborate on this halacha, I'm going to read the Ben Ishchai. The Ben Ishchai says, he brings some to Arizal, that also to be from the first ten, you have to daven in that minion. Not to be the, not to like, you know, be the first ten and then you go daven somewhere else. And there's another very important thing that a lot of people forget the same way that it's a mitzvah to be the first ten in the shachrit, it's also a mitzvah to be the first ten in mincha and arvit. So any minyan, it's a tremendous, a tremendous... And also another misconception is people always think, oh, the tenth guy is the most important, you know that? But in the Zohar, and if you're number one, that's the greatest one. If you're the one that like opens the door of the shul, and turns on all the lights, that's like the biggest, that's like, the more you're closer to the first person, you understand? The bigger the mitzvah is. And also, another important thing to know is, the Ben Ishchai says in Parshat Miketz, Halacha Aleph, Kach mitzvah leitarkev ad she yisharu asar met keset, umikol sheken shesarich lizayar shelo yetze rishon maasar achronim. Did you know it's also a mitzvah to be the last ten to leave? And also, the same way it's a mitzvah to be the first one to open the shul and to come to Minyan, if you can, I know two brothers, they always were the first one and last one, and they became, they, this Kabbalist told them that it's a big segul also to get wealthy, and they became extraordinarily wealthy. So, the same, it shows that we want to lo love God, you know, we're, we're in love. When you love somebody, you just, you're so enthusiastic, so... By coming on time to shul and being the first one, you understand? It shows how important and how vital it is to our life. In the same way as a mitzvah to be the first one, it's a mitzvah to be the last one. And especially you should try not to do what? Be the number 10 to leave because you're causing the shekhinah to leave. So you understand? So if you see that there's 10 people left in shul, it's, it's very important. Try to be careful. Just let... Somebody else be the tenth person to leave. Because with the tenth person that leaves, it causes a lot of the holiness of the Shekhinah to leave. So may Hashem help us Amen. always to realize, like King David says, Ashrei Yoshve Betecha, Od Yehalelucha Selah. Happy are the people that are always in the house of God. 